Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. It is time once again to get destroyed by a bunch of bone mages. I actually forgot about the bone mages. They were like really cool unit, but then you just realize they suck. Anyway, welcome back. We've got some more custom content to make today, and you guys really enjoyed the tabs units that we made before. I thought that was kind of fun. I thought it was unique. You guys give me ideas for it. We'll probably do that in the next video, maybe. We'll see what you guys have to say about it. I'm recording a little bit ahead, so piggybacking. But we are going back into your suggestions. Isn't that right, little red guy? Yes, it is. Yes, I'm gonna fly. Anyway, we're gonna start off today with Spider Pig's invention. It's called an ant. <laughs> this will be interesting. What happens if we make him like one-tenth of the size? That's 34 times. One-tenth. <laughs> Look at him go. He bounces. We're going to have to make his weight uh, a little bit less. Probably one or 0.2. Just so he's... Yeah, let him go. <laughs> doink, doink. Dude, just stop already. What's he going to do? Look, he can't even walk. He's so small. He's going to get squished by... Wait, he's so small, nothing else wants to fight him. All right, <laughs> that's unique. It's the ant, if you are wondering. So he wants 10 times movement speed. I guess ants move really fast, but no weapons. He's gonna have two things instead, if I can find it. There needs to be a certain, <laughs> duh. <laughs> duh, duh, duh. <laughs> oh, okay, so the fire ant literally has, he's on fire, because the fire <laughs> the fire is bigger than the fire ant. That's hilarious. And a three times damage modifier. Okay, we should also make him a ranged unit. Yeah, that works better. And let's give him the voice of the poison guy. Yeah, the potion seller. This is actually funny. I really want to see, whoa. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's so great. This is gonna be a fun unit. Just a little inferno. All right, little fire ant. Let me see what you do. Now where, if I were an ant, yeah, you know where? The farm. Ants live on the farm, sort of, kind of. Okay, let's see if we can do this. More factions, we're gonna bring the ants up into here. Yes. And ta-da. <laughs> They're 430 points each. That's not really that much. <laughs> this is great. We'll do 40 of them. What should we fight them against? How about some just, we'll just make up a farm here. We'll do a couple wheelbarrow guys. We'll have a scarecrow in the back. Let's do a bunch of halflings. Some farmers going on. A potion seller because ant bites get poisoned or something. Wow, this is actually kind of crazy. <laughs> we'll add some more halflings in. Let's see what happens. I'm kind of excited. Oh, these things are so fast, aren't they? Oh! <laughs> okay, look at the look at the wheelbarrow guys go. Oh, we're poisoned now. The ants are poisoned. I don't even know where the ants are. They're so small. And then there's birds attacking them. Huh? Are they dead? I can't tell because if they're dead, then oh, what, what is that? It's a, it's a poison bird. <laughs> um, they, are they dead? I don't know. Oh, I feel like the AOE has destroyed a lot of my ant friends. Where's, are there any alive? Oh, that was. Okay, so this dude here and that dude there. They're illegal. We don't like them anymore. There we go. <laughs> Yay. I'm surprised that they get hit. I feel like these guys can't. Look at the fireballs going everywhere. Oh, wow. The, the, what is that? The harvester? That's a tall unit. Okay. <laughs> the ants are exciting. Can the ants defeat a mammoth? That's what I really want to know. Hey, you guys go away. I told you to leave. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh! Okay, I don't, oh, wow, the ants won. <laughs> How about we try out the ice giant? We have the fire ants versus the ice giant. <laughs> I feel like they aren't gonna win. Blue victory, yeah, the ice, ice melts fire, something like that. Backwards words are hard. Tree giant, tree giants are dumb. They should be able to burn up pretty easily. Yeah. <laughs> what a neat unit. All right, time for another new unit. Now, this is just going to be a normal guy. Just a normal. That's the wobbler, I'm guessing. A lot of you guys also want me to, like, mutate, like, watches and stuff. Like, literally, I can't. These are the only three units we can make. So if you have a suggestion, leave it below in the comments. But know that I can't, like, make the tank any different. I could take the wobbler and change him up a little bit, which would be kind of fun. Maybe, like, make him ten times taller just so he's really big, and then he has a hard time walking, so his weight needs to be 10 times bigger. Yeah, then, then we have a giant, we can give him a weapon, but it's kind of funny to give him weapons, because if we even give him something like a Sarissa, which is long, it just disappears. <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> I gotta try this. I'm gonna name him Derp. That's, that's his entire name. We'll take a picture of Derp. There he is. 
and I'll add derp to the faction. There you go. Good job, derp. All right, derp. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we'll do derp versus derp attack. Uh-huh. Wow. It's like interpretive dance. I don't know what's going on, but the Sarissa has poked himself in the chest. Oh, really? Tell me again how you feel, Mr. Blue Guy. Tell me again. I feel like if I remove the weapon, he might work. Where'd the red one go? Oh, there he is. He's interpretive dancing down here inside the wheel of shame. Or the hamburger of shame. Looks like a McDonald's hamburger. About the same amount of meat. Just three patties. Or three buns. Oh, I got some lettuce and tomatoes and pickles up top. And then blue guy. I don't know why he's on a burger. Maybe that's the worms that are in the McDonald's hamburgers. Hey, he won! I'll be honest, I haven't eaten McDonald's in years. Maybe they don't have worms anymore. I'm not sure. But I do notice something. Derp is gone. I don't like him anymore. Time to make a new unit. And you shall be named... 91. I'm not sure what... Yeah, there's probably 90 others of these. That's why you had to use 91. That's my guess. And then he gets wizard sticks. There's a stick. <laughs> Just gonna beat somebody with a stick. Go away. Wizard staff. We're doing two wizard staffs. Nice. Okay, make one that shoots fire and one that shoots lightning. I, I don't know how to do that. Um, I know we can do the lightning block. Would that work? Is there a fire breath or something? Well, he's gonna get ice arena. That'll work. That'll be a way to spit ice. There. That'll that'll do the trick. Should we should we give him bigger hit points? You didn't tell me to give him bigger hit points. We're doing it. He's having ten thousand. I feel like this guy's asking for clothes. I don't know what to give him for clothes though. Maybe we'll make him blindfolded. That's a good thing to do for a wizard man. And I'm gonna give him legs. And by legs, I mean a skirt. No, I'm not a skirt. This is so hard, by the way. Like dressing my dolls up. I don't know how to do it. I don't have much experience doing that. Okay, get pants on now. Let's do pirate pants. Nope. Renaissance pants. Does that look good? Kind of exposing your midriff there, bud. How about this? The spooky gown. I kind of like that. Where shall he go? Because he's spooky. We'll go to the spooky land. Okay, so he's powerful enough to destroy three mammoths, according to his cost. Let's see what he does. I don't actually know. I have no idea how this is going to work. Whoa! Okay. Um... <laughs> he just got boxed in the ice hole. That's not too cool. Wow. He might actually be pretty strong. Yeah. Oh, no. He fell off the edge. Let's see if the mammoths chase. Nope. They just got stuck in a tree. Oh, he's zapping him from below. Oh, he killed one. Ha, oh, dang. I was not expecting him to do anything. Now he's just going to... Oh, that lightning blast is pretty cool. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, you boxed him in with you. That was a pro move if I've ever seen one. I like this. You're keeping him above you with those those ice boxes. That's pretty legit. He's gonna win. He's got him stuck in the tree. You know that mammoths can't climb trees. Unless you're watching Ice Age 2. But I'm feeling a different map for this purpose. I'm gonna do a shield bearer wall. We're gonna try to match the price. Now he does have arrow block, correct? I believe so. So we'll put in a little bit of an army there. And let's give a king, because that should balance it out pretty well. Let's see what he can do. I'm not, I don't have high hopes on this. Oh, he blocks arrows. Yes, that does work. Okay, good. Oh, and that lightning blast from the Gandalf sticks. Nice. Whoa, did you see that guy get thrown up in the air? The king's gonna get roasted too. Oh, you shall not pass. Nice. Wait, oh, the arrows are being thrown back with the lightning. I like this guy. This is pretty cool. The blind wizard. I like it. Oh, he just killed the king. He's, he's a lot more powerful than I thought. That's that's a really cool unit. No joke. Like, well done. Good suggestion. I personally like when things get electrocuted. It's funny. Look at him explode. This guy's going to get roasted right here. Ready? <laughs> <And> <laughs> <laughs> he's so happy. He's so excited to die. I like this idea. Shadow Flame says, try to make the most defensive character. Move slow, low damage and all the deflect powers, including the dark peasant hands. Now those are a very offensive powered thing, but we'll try it. I guess it's kind of both. Should we make him? I'm feeling like he needs to be a stiffy. I'm feeling like he needs to be a skelly man. Defensive, undead sort of thing. We can give him some ragged clothing. I like that idea. Or something weird like a bucket on his head. That could be it. That looks pretty defensive. And a fish. <laughs> Why <laughs> is there a giant fish in the game? What? Oh, yeah. How about that? He's got a bucket, too. Not gonna lie, that's that actually looks pretty legit. Like, something somebody made in the backyard. 
I like it. So he's supposed to move slow. So let's drop this down to the slowest. A negative movement speed? How does that work? We'll go to like 10%. Has low damage. We'll drop this to 10% too. We're gonna have to give him a buttload of hit points just like that. That... <laughs> okay. He's got like, what, 26 digits? That doesn't even make sense. What happens if we make him bigger? This might be funny. Oh, this stuff grows with him. That's kind of cool. Let's make him like 1.8 times bigger. He's just a big skeleton in a bucket. Now he needs some special abilities. He needs like the dark peasant hands. That was one suggestion. We could also put hay on him. <laughs> I feel like that's pointless though. Let's do the projectile block. I like that idea. I guess this is under defensive. Strange. The shout should work really good, I would think. And I'm gonna give him the lightning block and the parry. We'll give him the parry. Yeah, that'll work. Should I give him a weapon? That's the question. And the answer is absolutely yes. He needs two wall shields. Actually, can I just put that in both hands? There you go. <laughs> he's just hiding behind a wall. <laughs> I love it. I have a feeling he's gonna be pretty expensive though. Where, oh, where should we take him to test? I feel like he's a Renaissance kind of guy. Just ripped off a piece of the wall. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, he's a million points. <laughs> um, let's do like a, an all out shield wall attack. Just to see what happens since he's so slow. Uh, I should put in the, the squires. I feel like the squires work better with the shield men. And then we're just gonna load up a buttload of arrow men. A buttload of archers. We're not even close. Should I put it in catapult? Let's do two catapults. That'll be fun. And uh, I don't know what else. Pikeman, blow darter, peasants, boxer. Flag bear, a wizard. We'll put in a wizard. Okay, we'll just see what happens. I have a feeling these dark peasant hands are gonna make this a little bit more overpowered. Ooh, he blocked all the arrows. And did the dark peasant explosion. That pretty much took care of everything. <laughs> but look at it, he's trying to peek through the hole in the wall. He's like, hey guys, I've got a giant shield. Also, you can't shoot me because reasons. Wow, he's legit. He is legit. He cannot be touched. Oh, he's just picking up everyone and throwing them away. Okay, we gotta we gotta test out the most defensive versus the most offensive. Kevin. Kevin with the dueling miniguns with ballista bolts. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, they're throwing each other down. Okay, we got the throw down here, but he's got the mega shield. Okay, <laughs> all of those got blocked. Nice. Oh, he messed up his shield though. Too bad he doesn't know how to move. He's gonna get stuck on that wall. Oop, throwing. This is gonna take like six years to win. Cause uh, Shadow Flames over here doesn't have any offensive attacks. Neither does Kevin though, besides just throwing them up and down. And 45 minutes later, they're still just doing nothing except jumping for joy. I call this one a, a, a win for, for everyone. Oh, <laughs> look at all those list All right, let's try the Ice King. I feel like the Ice King's gonna have an interesting adventure here. Um, Ice King's gonna get ripped apart. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, the super explosion. Ice King's getting some shots in. That's good news. We found a way to get past the. Never mind, it's all hitting the wall. Wow. Okay, I like this. Because he has so many hit points, too. Oh, ho, 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 ho. throw it into the water. You're drowning the Ice King. No way, that was cool. What about Goku? Can Goku win? Goku, probably not, because Goku's like really, really cheap. Yeah, he's just gonna get smashed. And I don't remember this guy very well, but it's the balloons. <laughs> yeah, the balloons aren't gonna make it. You know what we should do? I have an idea. Besides Nevik, I don't know what's gonna happen with Nevik. I really wanna try to overwhelm with a ton of Artemises. Now, can we make a super defensive guy? Like, does it work? I don't know. Those are hard words. But we'll see, because there's like gonna be a ton of arrows. Whoa, why are they all green? Is Artemis like the god of green stuff now? <laughs> Did they hit? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd the most defensive guy ever go? Oh, he got hit back. What is going on? That's supposed to be a new, a new thing. I didn't know there was new stuff with this. Oh, wow. Are they actually hitting? Not really. <laughs> the most defensive unit ever. Wow, <laughs> look at all those, look at all those arrows stuck in there. We should remove the, the hands. Guys, they're cheaty. Hands are cheaty mode. I gotta give him something else though. Can I give him the shout? 
Did I already give him the shout? I already gave him the shout. I don't know what it does. I mean, I know what it does. It blows him away. The fun thing is he's so slow that all of these arrows just get messed up. <laughs> oh yeah, it's great. He's not going to be able to do anything, but he's never going to take any damage. <laughs> Until they get really close to him. Look at all those arrows in there. Ha oh, dang, that's amazing. It's the most defensive unit in the history of the most defensive units. I should have made him heavier so he never gets knocked back. <laughs> Look at that. That is so crazy. There are so many arrows flying in. I should do that with ballistas. <gasps> That'd be fun. I feel like some of the Artemises are committing Sudoku over here. He's gaining ground. He's gaining ground. He can do it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he just got yeeted. Oh, man. Oh, they're hitting him. They're hitting him. How did he let his guard down? Get up, bro. Get up. Do you need ass you need assistance? Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> he's stuck. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not like this. Your leg's stuck in the in the door. Oh, you poor thing. They're ready to put you down like a dirty dog. But he hasn't even taken a bit of damage yet. Oh, now he is. Now he's stuck on the ground. They're still not really doing any damage to him. Probably because he has like 11 bajillion hit points. I kind of want to try to make him taller. Oh yeah, that that does that works. <laughs> he gets stuck in there, dude. Chill a little bit. There you go. Your head's out now. Does that make you feel better? No, you put it. Why do you constantly put your head through there? That's not how a helmet works, dude. Uh huh. Tell me again how you feel. Hey, he did it. He did it. Ha <laughs> He snapped out of it. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay, I'm going to make him like four times heavier. And by four, I mean five. I have to make one more. He's going to have dual mini guns that shoot ballista bolts. I'll name him something like Rambo. He also needs to fire like, I don't know, 10 times faster. I made him a little heavier. We'll make him even heavier. What is this? A ballista rider? Where do these go? Whoa. Are these like secret units? Where did this come from? Clams? We can just throw in a buttload of clams? No? I'm still confused. I gotta clear them. <laughs> Hawacha Rider? Oh, this is all the people. Weird. I don't know how to do that. But I do know that I need to test Rambo versus Rambo out for science purposes. Okay, that's that's satisfying. <laughs> do you think the most defensive unit ever is gonna be able to withstand 61 Rambos? I hope so. Um... Can't really help himself though. There he goes. There he goes. Okay, ready? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what happens. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. And I gotta slow it down. He's just bracing for impact. <laughs> He's never gonna die though. Oh no. They moved his shield behind him. Here they come. Prepare the miniguns. Aim for the chest. <laughs> I hope they pin him against the wall and just that'd be funny. Do it, because it's funny. He needs to be heavier, I guess. Here it comes. Nice. Everybody get in range. We just need to unload. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's not heavy enough. He just got yeeted off the entire map. Now, you might be wondering why I don't make him heavier. It's probably because I didn't know I needed to. We're just going chunky mode. 116 times heavier. I don't know if that does anything, but I hope it does. Snap out of it, buddy. Snap out of it. There you go. Who's a good snap out of it? Okay, I want a hundred of these guys. There it is. Okay, a hundred. Now he's really heavy. It's 116 times heavier than a typical skeleton. Does that do the trick? <laughs> Can he withstand all of these miniguns? Oh, this is hilarious. I love it. There's one blast. Did he move? He didn't move. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's hilarious. Look at that. He's just hes just eating it. He's like, please feed me more ballista bolts. They're slowly... <laughs> they are knocking him back a little bit. They're going through him. They're hitting him so much. That's great. They're going to still knock him off the wall, the edge. <laughs> Look at all the miniguns. <laughs> I love it. That is hilarious. That might be the thumbnail right there, my dudes. That might be something about the thumbnail. Or that. <laughs> I think we've done it. We've made the most defensive unit in the history of most defensive units in this game. Does that mean we beat the game? I think it means we beat the game. So, video's over. Bye!